This story brought to you by Eastern Connecticut State University, Connecticut's public liberal arts university. The holidays are a time for thinking about those less fortunate than ourselves. For one Vernon resident, the less fortunate have not only been on his mind, they have kept him on his feet for years. Charlie Chatterton is an associate professor of sport and leisure management at Eastern Connecticut State University. He has been putting one foot in front of another in a race against poverty. He has run 41 marathons over the past 40 months to bring attention and funds to those who are in need the most. I've been down to New Orleans a couple times. I've been up to the Adirondacks. I've been to Boston, Providence. Philadelphia. Charlie started with the Adirondack Marathon in September 2006 and has been to over 10 states since. What was supposed to be a total of four races turned into 40 as Charlie learned about how many people poverty affects. When we think it's specifically in Connecticut that you, with the number of children living in poverty, that you could fill Wrenchler Field more than twice with the number of children, we can do better. There are currently 39.8 million Americans living under the poverty line. The United States Census in 2007 declared that over 18% of all children are living in poverty, and that number has risen since. Poverty does exist in our society, you know, at the national, state, as well as the local level. An official marathon is 26.2 miles, and Charlie's best time is just under four hours. The father of three isn't trying to impress anyone with his athletic ability, though. We can all do things at our own uh, local level, you know, community level, but then also we can challenge ourselves to perhaps uh, be a voice uh, for people living in the poverty condition. Professor Chatterton isn't just fighting poverty locally, though. He has brought this fight to the federal level as well. The last couple of years, I've gone down to Washington, D.C. for the National Marathon, which is uh, in March. And I've taken the time each time to visit some of our different uh, legislative leaders uh, in D.C. to try to be a voice for those living in a poverty condition. Charlie finished his last run at the Skinner Road School in Vernon, where a celebration was planned in his honor. The first thing he did immediately after the marathon was raise more money by shooting some basketballs for the Hoops for Hunger program that is part of the Cornerstone Foundation. Afterwards, Charlie spoke to the students and was honored by local and state dignitaries. Some of the governor's staff was on hand to pronounce December 22, 2009 as Charlie Chatterton Day throughout the state of Connecticut. I can't thank my wife, uh, Carol, and my kids enough also for being supportive. Bottom line is to improve the quality of life and the basic dignity uh, for all people. And instead of just thinking that it's a daunting task that you know no one ever wants to tackle, let's look to see what we can do. As we enter into a new year, the national debt continues to skyrocket and the dollar is weak. The number under the poverty line is sure to grow. Charlie Chatterton is at the front of a race we must win. Reporting for the Journal Inquirer and local online news, I'm Greg Gallivan.